we obviously know that there are different i mean uh, odoo can manage the multi companies so uh, odoo 18 releases a new feature that is the Yeah, we know right. the card. For Actually, this e-wallet and loyalty points was already there in Odoo 17, but there was nothing like seeing it in the portal. We had the invoice bill wizard uh, in uh, the sales module. This time also, we are back with some other new features which we are expecting in Odoo 18, right? Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Tonic. So I am your host Aishwarya and I am your co-host Jyoti now. So today, what are we going to talk about? So today we are going to turn up the heat of Odoo Eighteen. Yeah. Last time, that is in our previous episode, we were talking about the upcoming features of Odoo Eighteen, as well as we had a comparison of Odoo Seventeen and Odoo Eighteen. Yeah. So this time also, we are back with some other new features which we are expecting in Odoo Eighteen, right? Yeah. So there is nothing more. There are only ten features which we listed for today. So that doesn't mean that's the end. We have pretty much more features, right? And that will be discussing through upcoming episodes. Videos. Yeah. So let's begin, right? Yeah. So the first feature which I listed out was invoice bill wizards, which we can find inside sales and purchase. Yeah. Yeah. So when we just compare uh, the previous versions of Odoo, that is still Odoo seventeen is the previous versions. We had the invoice bill wizard uh, in uh, the sales module. So whenever we try to create the invoices, we can see a wizard would pop up, mm -hmm. and that shows uh, the invoice uh, generation. Like we can just create the regular invoice or uh, how the payment is doing and all. So that wizard is now available in Odoo eighty purchase module. So whenever we just try to create a bill, we can easily find a pop up for the bill creation. Yeah, that's one so of the new feature. Like simply say the invoice wizard, which actually shows you how you are gonna pay, whether it's in percentage, down payment, fixed down payment, or whatever it is. That thing can now be found inside the purchase module as well. So that's a new feature. We don't know whether it's the final one, right? Yeah. So that's what we found out uh, when we were looking for the features. And the next one is confirm and reset button for selecting multiple companies. So yeah. We obviously know that there are different. I mean, uh, Odoo can manage the multi companies. So at a time, we can enable more than one companies. That's the thing. And we have one more thing, which is called the reset, right? Yeah. So the main peculiarity of using this confirm button and reset button is that in previous version and all, when we just tried to add multiple companies, we can only add single company at a time. So whenever we just try to add a company, we know it takes a little bit time for, for loading, right? Yeah, loading and. That was a uh, a bit more difficult for the business because we have to wait. Uh, it's actually time consuming. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the Odoo eighteen releases a new feature that is the yeah we know the confirm and reset button. So at a time we can just add multiple companies and if we want to just reset that um, or recently added company or the unwanted company, which means if we if you want to just uncheck any of the company from this list, you can just use the reset button. And without any time cons consumption, we can just easily avoid that company from our database. That is, you don't have to wait each time you enable or uh, like a company. At a time, you can uh, enable multiple companies as well as you can, uh, you know, reset it because it's like, you know, removing the previous one which we have added and all. Okay, so that's the other feature which we found while we were checking. And the next one is Como products, obviously. Okay. Como so products are everywhere. Yeah, right. right. Everywhere. <laughs> and the thing is that. Till seventeen, uh, actually by seventeen, uh, Odoo has introduced the feature of combo products. Combo yeah. products. Till sixteen, actually, we managed the combo products using Kit Sandor, but it was a bit complicated. I mean, a bit more complications creation and all. Mm. But uh, by Odoo seventeen, all those complications were sorted out. But the uh, good news is that now we can just use it everywhere. Like uh, many of our customers were asking whether we can just use it in sales and all. Yeah, right now we have it in POS, sales, sales rental, then what? E subscription. Yeah, everywhere. Every products can be found everywhere inside Odoo eighty. I don't know whether it's gonna change, but I found it pretty much interesting and attractive. So when we just uh, where uh, I mean when we were had a research on this, the roadmap of Odoo eighty shows like. Yeah, everywhere. Like in Odoo, almost everywhere we are dealing with the products. So wherever you can find products, you can find combo products as well. So that was the other feature, and the next one is the e-wallet and loyalty points. Okay. 
So we know everybody gonna have a minimum balance in our e-wallet because we all are frequent purchasers of the online. Actually, this e-wallet and loyalty points was already there in Odoo 17, but there was nothing like seeing it in the portal view. Yeah. But right now, Odoo 18 has bring up with what? We can just find the balance in the portal view. That's it. We have a feature like uh, the it shows the icon of the e-wallet and that truly shows the available balance of the portal user. So it's actually a motivation for us to buy more products. Yeah. But once you get into the portal, you can see your e-wallet balance as well as the loyalty points. And then you can calculate and buy whatever you want based on your points. So that's the thing, right? Yeah. And loyalty points also. Yeah, loyalty points. So whenever you buy uh, some of the product, you may get the loyalty points and you can just exchange that loyalty points uh, with the cash and you will get a reduction. This is mm -hmm. actually a better thing. That is, we can uh, keep track of all the points which we are gaining. Yeah, right. Actually, they will create a cravings for the customers to buy I more, yeah. more items. If people are like us who are very fond of online shopping, for them, it's really helpful. Yeah. Then we have the signature request. So signature request is nothing but that's a new feature. Actually, we have a sign module till a previous version of Odoo 17, Odoo 16 and all other uh, all other versions. But here, uh, we just going to discuss about the signature request, which means that we can just create more confiden confidentiality with our uh, document or the payment and all by si requesting the signature from uh, the customers. Custom yeah, so, and this can be found inside the sales. Then what a purchase project to do. And actually, this is one of the features that can be found under almost every uh, module settings. So basically, once you open the sales module, you have the quotations over there. Yeah. So inside the quotations, you have the small gear icon, which is to manage the settings. So inside that, you can find this signature, signature request. So that's what we found out while we were talking about the signature request. Next is the cloud storage. So, you know, uh, we have uh, a lot more data to store in our database so you don't have to store it in another device instead you can actually download this from the odoo app store so two cloud storages is provided by odoo which are the uh, that is the uh, google cloud storage as well as the azure, azure. cloud storage and okay. if you only want to just uh, store your attachment chatter attachments you can just um, install the cloud storage from the app store of odoo so but if, if you want to have a uh, huge data and all, then you can just install or go with the cloud storage such as the Azure uh, as cloud well storage. as the Google yeah. cloud store. And you can also set the size that you want yeah. uh, to store the data. So based on your needs, you can install it from the app store yeah. of Odoo and then use it. Okay. So that was cloud storage. Next, we have Passkey. So Passkey will be a new term as well as that yeah. is one of the new feature because when I was wondering what is this Passkey? Yeah, because nobody will be knowing because yeah. this is one of the latest features. It's not a replacement. Rather, it's a new feature sure, yeah. introducing in Odoo 80. So the main peculiarity of using this Passkey is that the user can log in into any device of the other user like using this passkey using this passkey okay. so actually it's then uh, like uh, the user can just go to his profile where we can should we install something yeah we have to install a module called passkey okay. so there's Fair a new thing. module like in the app store we have this passkey yeah. really after installing it we can use it use this feature okay fine so the passkey is mainly visible under the ac account security it's a replacement for the um, password as well as the username of uh, the user. Okay. So if I'm the user and you are the other user and if I want to use your device and all, I can just use this passkey by creating, uh, I mean, I can use your passkey um, and can log in into the device. Mm -hmm. So I can use your database in my system. Oh, that's it. Okay. So that's passkey. That's and very as well as uh, the advantages of using is that we can just troubleshoot our database as well as uh, if we just forget the uh, password. password and um, Yes, that's that's well. kind of a really interesting yeah. thing, right? So that's the brand new feature which is called Passkey. So let's look forward to it. Next, we have the uh, report layout and fonts which you can find in Odoo 18. So it's completely a new thing. Actually, uh, this is one of the existing feature actually. Because, because modifications that has made there. Okay. So whenever we are using the layouts, actually in previous version, it was a drop down list. Hmm. So currently it has just turned into buttons. Okay. So whenever we use different buttons, we can find the layouts like the styles, the fonts, everything, the color, everything 
we can just sit over there. So that's the only change. Actually, it's one of the existing feature, which means we can just configure yeah. the document layout. So as we said before in the previous episode, there are a lot of, I mean, UI changes are found, right? So in case of this layout also, certain UI changes have come there. Yeah. So that's the uh, report layout. Next, we have the restore history. So, you know, what is that? <laughs> restore history? What is it? Okay. Restore history. Actually, we had that feature in the knowledge module. So, um, we know in Excel and all, um, sometimes the different users may be using all these Excel sheets and all. Mm. So, um, different people making, uh, will be making different changes for the data. Yeah. So, in such cases, some might be creating some of errors. It might be small or big. So we just need to restore the data. Yeah. So we will be going uh, to check the history and all. Like from because there you can restore it. Restore. No. As like uh, that feature itself, we have a feature to restore the history of the project. Project. Task. Yeah. Okay. So whenever, uh, let's uh, think that um, we both are working in a project. So I have made a change in the description and you have made another change mm. but uh, the project manager has asked for the previous change that you have made so if you want to just have a comparison with my uh, description and your description you can easily find so it. actually we are keeping track of all the things which we are doing yeah. inside the actually uh, we can only keep the track of the description yeah uh, rest of the things will be as of uh, that we have given but we can just restore the history, which means we can just get the description that we have previously made. And it also shows who has made the change at okay. what time. And we can just have a comparison on that. So basically, we are keeping track of everything which we are doing inside Odo 80. Yeah. And finally, that scan CV using AI. So you can actually scan your CV, that is your resume, using AI. AI. Yeah. So AI is actually, Odo has introduced the AI feature in Odo 17. Mm -hmm. But they are making it more attractive for the users, which means once I upload my CV, I can just fetch all the data in it, mm -hmm. such as uh, email, phone number, as well as the skills that we have given in the CVs will be automatically fetched into our employee module. So basically, AI is doing everything nowadays. Yeah. And Odoo is actually making use of that AI, yeah. right? So, uh, so features over. Yeah. Today, we will be dealing with all these features only. And in upcoming videos, we will have more discussions with the no doubts because every day we are waking up to new, new features of Odoo 18 and we are surprised. Oh my God, such a change. Because Odoo is like giving excitement for us because it's, surprises act. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna beat up all other um, ERPs in the market. I'm so damn sure about both that. Both of us are looking forward to the features every day. So I hope we'll be back with some more attractive features other than this in the next episode, right? Yeah. So start your journey with Odo with Cyber Roses. Yeah, that's it. So I hope we can wrap, right? Yeah. So that's all about the upcoming features of Odo 18 in this episode of Tectonic. I hope you guys enjoyed the time with us. And if you have any suggestions, you can comment below and let us know. So let's sign up. Yeah. So that's it. We are signing off. Bye.